In today's lesson, we're going to learn the importance of the large daily pattern in price action. And today's main pattern is a trend range, which means I need to identify the important key levels, the low day support and the high day resistance, because according to range rules, you want to buy low, sell high and most breakouts will fail. So once you see prices reaching the support, you don't want to be selling low and you don't be buying directly into the resistance. This is why it's always paramount for you to identify the key levels to help you stay on the right side of the market. Now, I also want to identify the current bias in this range, which is bullish. We had a very strong spike, bullish spike. I expect for prices to retest new extreme. Even the wider downtrend had to break new low, larger to get pullback. And I can see prices reacting in the middle of the trend range. The buyers are buying here. So I'm going to identify small support because I can see EMA flattening a lot. Up, down, up, down. I expect push to new high. So I'm expecting for prices to push above EMA to confirm the bullish momentum and notice what I have. Now, this is technically not high probability setup per se because this low broke below this bar. So this is not high low. But when I was watching this live, I treated it as high low because notice all the sellers selling too late after there is a break new low, which means the downtrend played out, to like a pullback, the bias is bullish. All the sales got trapped, great tier one signal bar, closing above EMA, great momentum, decent high probability setup, a little bit more advanced, but you can see small support forming and a great signal bar. Now we actually have legitimate high low confirmation setup, and this time you pushed above EMA and EMA keeps holding. But if I'm gonna draw the short and uptrend, I'm buying directly into highs now this is not a bad setup because the bias is bullish you just want to make sure you're buying with the limit order so you get a discount so you're not buying too high and prices keep working higher and notice what we have okay break any new extreme so even the short term channel created new high and this is where the important lesson comes into play because i can see that the main pattern is really coming into play now notice the resistance is showing signs of bearish momentum the sellers are going to be selling at this particular level so once i'm watching this and such a strong bull ema i need to adapt and i'm no longer expecting for bulls to create new extreme they attempted push to new high filled once filled twice the sellers are selling this is the main pattern in price action and the main pattern the big pattern will take precedence or the small one so at this point we have a break new high the resistance is holding and I'm right now switching my gears into bearish. Especially now I can see prices after low high pushing lower. And notice what we have. New high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long failure. So this is a failed second entry long, reversal pattern. Also you can see it's confirming the potential downtrend. Right below EMA, the resistance is holding. This is where you want to sell high. The signal bar is bullish. So it is more aggressive. Unfortunately, you didn't get a chance to enter with the nice bearish bar. Actually, I'm gonna redraw my channel as I'm getting more confirmation like this. Okay, prices are working lower. I'm gonna extend the channel. My target right now for prices is to reach the low today support. And notice what is happening. We have a massive push down, which is overshoot. We talked about this in our yesterday's lesson. Notice big depletion spike. We're far away from EMA. And notice we have another push down. So now I have to make decision. Generally after overshoot you expect instant push up. And now we had another push down. The reason why I'm still focusing on this as overshoot. It's simple. Because prices are bouncing at the low of the day. And we're coming after fell breakout. So not only I expect stronger correction. Stronger bullish momentum. This is going to be important. You're going to see why because context is always important. I'm expecting stronger correction when it comes to overshoot and also I expect more bulls to be buying at the bottom of the train range. So as I expect bulls to create stronger momentum, I have a second entry short, but I cannot sell it so far away from EMA. Notice I have visual two leg up pullback. I have larger two leg up pullback at the EMA. However, can I sell? I cannot. We are not just pattern traders, you need to take into consideration the overall structure, which is a train range. You have an overshoot, which means you expect break or possible reversal. It's okay to sell second entry short here, sell second entry short here, 
sell second entry short here all the way down it's okay to take second entry short at the ema if it forms now it's too late for you to sell you're selling directly into the bottom where all the sellers who sold at the top are gonna take profit all the smart traders are gonna pick bottom and you can see this is the reason why it failed so hopefully you understand why to pay attention to overall context you have overshoot and now you have a felt second entry short which is very tempting setup but the problem is the downtrend doesn't have a clear new low so you could have one little push down just hard to identify it ended up working nicely and notice market keeps working higher so i'm going to redraw the channel so you can see buyers buying at the bottom most breakouts will fail all the weak sellers are selling the breakout hoping we will finally break out the train range but most breakouts of ranges will fail we have a break new high and notice prices are trending all the way down to create new extreme of this downtrend and even this secondary lag had a break and new extreme and prices are pushing above ema we have a new low first century short failure i'm going to zoom back the overall pattern is strength range we had a wide break and move to new extreme the wider the break is the chances are higher that the downtrend truly played out so not only this downtrend had a break new low but even the tighter one which is a great sign you're pushing above ema so what are you expecting you want to buy low so you are thinking bullish you expect for this breakout to fail again and push back into trading range according to range rules so i i'm bullish but i cannot just pick a bottom because it's hard for me to predict if the trend is strong how many pushes lower there's going to be if I want to predict safely the directional change in the market, I want to take a reversal pattern, the felt second entry short at the expansion moving average, and notice new low, first entry short, pull back, second entry short failure. All the sellers selling too late, second entry short above the EMA on the wrong side of the EMA after downtrend to break new low is gonna get trapped. EMA keeps holding, great tail run signal bar. This is a great high priority setup i took this setup myself I felt second entry short in your buying low going to range rules which is exactly what you want you actually have a high low confirmation setup of the felt second entry short but the body is still far away from the ema had it closed closer to the ema would have been better and notice market is working higher we're breaking and you would be expecting to get second entry short excuse me second entry long we have a second entry long but notice still not forming close enough to exponential moving average which unfortunately we cannot take and market created push to new extreme bullish momentum played out i'm looking for reversal in fact micro double top i'm looking for felt second entry long because uptrend played out can we get a felt second entry long okay we have a quite a massive push above ema so this is already concerning because if i'm gonna get continuation of this downtrend the ema is supposed to hold okay ever pushing above so at this point i need to adapt i cannot no longer look for shorts at least for now because we're above ema you need to push below to help me change my mind because ema didn't hold at all in fact i'm probably thinking about felt second entry short the bias is getting more bullish but there is no setup it's getting too congested no trade zone even on these bars and notice prices are starting to go sideways and you can see what the price action is doing ema was pointing up it's flattening a lot of price swings up and down and you can start to feel the indecision it's hard for you to put the finger on what is the overall bias it's quite unclear this means you're probably in some form of a trend range you can see it clearly shows a range like structure just small indecision and notice new low first entry short pull back second entry short failure you're buying low big bullish bar you know decent setup overall the trend range is getting a little bit too tight it's getting a little bit too stacked so you may want to be patient but this is a felt second entry short at the bottom of the range nice signal bar the stop loss goes one tick below the bar you would have gotten your nine ticks but in case you have a larger target profit you would have to hold your stop loss never got hit because you keep your stop loss one tick below the bar and you can see you would uh, just have to write this out and you can see what the price action is doing series of high lows notice each new low is higher than the previous one 
So we already have some bullish bias and you trade it up into the chain range. So you're most likely going to continue working higher. We had a full breakout, but the signal bar was bullish. I'm not interested in selling lower high. It's too close to these lows, too steep at the bottom, no bullish bar. But more importantly, there is a bullish imbalance. Each new low is higher than the previous one. So you cannot sell. The market keeps working higher. Okay, and we keep pushing higher. So I'm going to take a step back and we analyze the structure so far. Down trend played a bit to break new low. Most breakouts will fail. Great reversal pattern. We continue working higher. I'm going to measure the first leg, copy it, and predict my target. Okay, I can see the target is a little bit higher here. I'm expecting at this point for the measured move to be reached. So I'm looking for possible second entry long, but it needs to form really well. I can't go long here. It's just too far away from the EMA. And now we're at the top of the trend range while the measure move was reached. So I need to pause all my long setups because I'm at the top of the range. The bulls will take profits. The sellers will start selling and I need to be careful. Okay, we have prices working lower and notice new high first entry long, second entry long. I cannot go long. I'm at the top of the range. Two legged pullback was reached. I need to be patient. If you want to go long, you definitely need to see more of a confirmation because you'd be selling at the top. Remember, the main pattern takes precedence. This was a trading range. In fact, now you have new high, first entry long, second entry long failure. Now this right here is a felt second entry long. But notice how it formed. We have a small break and almost new low already for the downtrend. It's also too stacked. Not the greatest close here. You know, it just feels a little bit too late to go short because we already have a small break and new extreme. So there may not be enough momentum. I can mark it, even though I don't like it as much because you can make a case for taking a chance here. Largely to like a pullback. I was thinking about full second entry long, but it just didn't form that well. And if the structure is more bullish, you definitely want to see it forming clearly and nicely. They stopped all the second entry longs and notice they stopped even all the sellers. So there's a little whipsaw. And now we're entering the stage before the news, but I still want to talk about this setup. Now, you may be thinking about drawing possible wider uptrend, which at this point makes sense because we have been working to the upside strongly. That still doesn't mean that you're going to buy at the top of the range. Just like here, remember, most breakouts according to range rules will fail. This is another failed breakout above the important resistance. So even though you have a second entry long, it is just too late. You want to be buying all the way up, but now you're at the resistance. Sellers will start selling the buyers will take profit. You don't want to be trading anyway this close to the FOMC meeting. But you can see just because it is second entry long, that doesn't matter. The context is wrong. You have to focus on range rules. You can see a lot of volatility spike. So I'm going to skip through this because it's just too volatile too fast. Okay. We have a downtrend working lower. Okay, we have an uptrend working higher. Okay, and we're pushing back down. So you can see it's getting a little bit unclear. All I have to do is just focus on these shortened channels. I have a new low, first entry short, second entry short. Now, it's quite hard to pinpoint what is the overall bias. We have a lot of whipsawing up and down, up and down. I have to follow the shortened channels. We are coming off the highs of the trend range. So most likely the directional bias is more bearish than bullish since we're coming off the highs and the channel had to break new high. We have a second entry short. The reason why I'm not excited about this second entry short is because this downtrend has a small break in new low here which is a little bit worrisome. We have a new low, first entry short, second entry short. You know, you have to be really advanced. I am going to mark it because it is right at the EMA, second entry short. But I'm not sure I would like entering here when there's an ambiguity about the break new low. And the setup bar was quite bullish. A lot of bulls got trapped here though. Decent bar. It is a smaller risk, so you may consider taking this. Market continue working lower. But you know... Uh, Definitely more aggressive setup, definitely more aggressive here. 
Okay, market is trending to the downside quite strongly, so I can redraw the downtrend. Notice, uptrend, had a break new extreme, new low, first entry short pullback, second entry short, but we cannot take it, we're so far from EMA, and we also have congestion. And notice, first leg up, pullback, second leg up, larger two leg up pullback, at the key entry point at the EMA, this is a double trap and also another high probability setup, which is a fell breakout out of the small congestion, basically a smaller trend range. You broke higher, it felt, EMA kept holding, double trap and a fell breakout at the key entry point. While the downtrend needs to get new extreme, great setup. It was too fast for you to probably react on time and market continue working lower. Okay, so I can see that the prices are breaking the support. Let me just see. Okay, I can see that with more price action, I have so many fill breakouts. So I want to adjust my support. This makes it fit a little bit better because with more information, I can see that the trend range is expanding a little bit. We're trending off the highs all the way down. We have a break in new low, so I want to pause my shorts. I have an uptrend break. Now, if you're thinking about drawing a channel for this lag, you're gonna pay attention to the EMA and you can see EMA not holding at all. So once I was watching this, this is what is telling me, okay, the bullish momentum is not there. We have a first lag, break second lag, second entry short, but I cannot sell because no key entry point, it's not clear. But now that you're pushing below EMA, this is confirming the bearish bias. Notice how weak the bullish reversal was. And notice how many times EMA is rejecting new low, first entry short, second entry short, push below EMA confirming the bearish momentum, and now you have a lower high confirmation setup of the second entry short right at the EMA, and market continues pushing low. So I can clearly see, okay, the bias is getting a little bit more bearish, and let me just see if there's a potential trend line, and I can connect the first three swings to help me identify a potential channel. Because there is a reason why prices keep so gradually creating lower highs and lower lows. Can I go short? I cannot, just a first entry short. And now we're once again going to pay attention to what is happening. Remember, today's lesson is mainly about paying attention to the main daily pattern, the big pattern. We are once again below the support, which means the breakout may fail and this is where you want to be generally patient because prices may hover for a long time around the low today like this. It is not uncommon for prices to just go sideways for quite a while and once you're observing a structure like this, you really have to be patient, you cannot jump the gun because it is too late for you to sell most likely because remember this was a range pattern but you cannot go long because the main bias right now is downtrend. So you just have to be patient. You cannot go short. You're below the support. The prices may hover around here. I cannot go long because it is too early. The bias is buried. So I'm just waiting. You can see a lot of flat EMA, just sideways structure. Okay. We have a larger two leg up pullback. First leg up. Pullback, second leg up. Market form, new extreme. So now I may start anticipating possible felt second entry long. I want to see a felt second entry long bull trap to convince me to sell around the low today like this. Okay, can we get a felt second entry long? We cannot. Okay, market keeps working higher. You can see typical hovering around the low today. Flat EMA, two sideways. Okay, the trend line is coming into play. Okay, great confirmation. The bullish momentum played out. Sellers are selling at the key level. You have a new low, first entry short. What are you expecting? Second entry short. The resistance is now holding. Key entry point held. We have a second entry short, but notice how big the signal bar is. Had this bar been twice its size, great second entry short, up trim played out with the break new high, new low, first entry short, second entry short. Now, because of the key entry point held, now you're getting the information that the market, the bearish bias is resuming. The correction took a place and played out. So now it's safe to start selling, but the bar is just too big, too close to these lows. 
it's a shame because it was a nice setup and now it's too close to the close so this was my first setup for the day i managed to get only smaller runner but on this felt second entry short i managed to trail it really tight and managed to get a nice runner and i didn't take any other setup after that today we had fomc minutes which is not as important as the regular fomc meeting but still you can see price action may slow down a lot before the news it can still be volatile so you cannot be trading around it and hopefully it makes sense once you're observing a big trend range you need to be careful selling at these lows and buying at these highs it doesn't matter that you have second entry long here or second entry short here there's going to be a longer correction even if it's looking really tempting you just have to resist the temptation because your common sense exactly is telling you look at the market going up here i'm going to buy at the very top look at the market going down here i want to sell at the bottom only once the correction truly plays out and you've been waiting for quite a time then you can start thinking about resuming the structure so i hope you had a great training day i'm going to talk to you next time take care everybody